hey friends welcome to chemistry lover and uh, previously i made four or five videos on aromatic heterocyclic compounds and their reactions and in this video i'll be solving some of the questions from previous years of the csi and nate exams so this is a very useful video for you right so let's start today's topic so you can see this is the question which i took from uh, csi and nate exam and this period in derivative is given and it is basically a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction where uh, you have sodium methoxide as the nucleophile now if you follow my up regular uploads and if you go through the aromatic uh, heterocyclic compounds reactions you will definitely predict that this nucleophile will attack either to this position or to this position because uh, in these two positions the leaving groups are attached right so we can definitely remove option a and option d because uh, you can see in this position there is no leaving group so nucleophile will not attack here now we are left out with option uh, c and option b so what will be the correct option right so now you can see uh, if we take this uh, nucleophile it can attack either here or here and I have shown these two attacks so if it attacks at this position so you can see if it attacks at this position as I have shown here you can see this will be the intermediate and which is stable because the negative charge is stabilized over the nitrogen atom and it will give this product whereas the same thing happen if it attacks on here so it is also a stable intermediate and it will give this product so now the question is what will be the correct product so uh, if we consider only the stability of the intermediate then both intermediates are equally stable but uh, now we have to compare between the electrophilicity of these two positions right so electrophilicity of this position and this position uh, that is if we look at the original question we have to consider the electrophilicity about this position and this position now you can see uh, this position is closer to two uh, electron deficient or electron withdrawing or electronegative nitrogen atoms whereas this is only adjacent to one nitrogen atom and at distance position from other nitrogen atoms so definitely this position will be much more electrophilic and that's why the reaction will ought uh, occur on this position that is the attack will take place on this chlorine and you will get option C as your correct answer right now let us go to the second question and it is basically you have to predict the basicity order so if you have to predict the basicity order you have to compare the stabilities of their conjugate acids right and in this case you can see uh, these are the conjugate acids uh, we have and if you consider the stabilities obviously due to the presence of this uh, guanidine uh, structure this will be most stabilized and after that this will be stable and then this because you can see this nitrogen lone pair is actually part of aromatic ring so it is not fully free whereas there is no such aromaticity question and here you can see there is only one resonating canonical structure so it will be least stable so our stability order should be three is the uh, not stability order there is the basicity order so three will be most basic then two then one and then four right now let us go to the next question and it is basically bromination reaction and you can so this is a system similar like a indole system right only the nitrogen is replaced by sulfur okay so the reaction is very simple it will attack like this to give you so either this product can be formed or you can see this is our intermediate for the first attack and now what can happen is that so on this intermediate another bromide can attack here to give this now you can see this hydrogen elimination can occur to give you this and here second bromination can occur to give you this product so our correct option will be option c right 
so you can easily eliminate this option because here uh, the benzene ring is uh, brominated and this also and this also so uh, obviously in presence of a more electron rich center benzene ring will not be brominated right so option c will be the correct answer then after that the next question is this is very important question so uh, this compound uh, this uh, the uh, fluoro and bromo so we can say it one fluoro two bromo benzene or one bromo two fluoro benzene and when it is reacted with magnesium what will happen so you can see magnesium will attack like this and you will get this benzene intermediate now this furan and this benzene intermediate can undergo four plus two cycloaddition reaction to give you this product this is a deal solder reaction but be very careful this reaction will happen only when you use furan if you have instead uh, the uh, in this case it is pyrrole so if you have pyrrole instead of furan you will not get this reaction instead it will just attack from this position to give you this product so this is because uh, the uh, energy of homo of uh, pyrrole is very high and it will not do deal solder reaction right so the next question is this one so this is again a very important question so for in the first step sodium hydride will take this proton so to give this anion now this anion will attack on this epoxide to give you this so this will be your option a right so op uh, not option a that is product a so this will be your product a after that what will happen is that you have this benzaldehyde and this negatively charged oxygen can attack on this benzaldehyde the co group to give you this now you have paratol with sulfonic acid so it will basically protonate this o minus and it will make a, a oh2 plus which is a leaving group so it will leave and you will get this right so now it is a in situ electrophile so uh, the indole system will attack on it in a typical indole style to give you this and finally rearrangement will occur so this is basically the same reaction mechanism which i discussed in the video of indole and you will finally get this product right so this is simple after that this reaction is very important so in the first step Parts reduction occurs with this pyridine to give you this. Now, simple hydrolysis will give you this product because uh, these two positions will, will be hydrolyzed this position and this position to give you this product. And finally, you can see you have this basic condition KOH. So, aldol condensation reaction can occur. A simple aldol condensation reaction. So, this will be your correct answer. So, here uh option b will be your correct answer so this is a very very important question this is a star mark question okay and then so this is another question here it is basically a metallation so this is acidic hydrogen so you are using isopropyl magnesium chloride so it will take this proton to give you this magnesium reagent and this is when reps amide this is very important so it will attack on this when reps amide to give you this stable tetrahedral intermediate so it is stable at minus 78 degree centigrade uh, it is not mentioned here but you should know that it is stable at minus 78 degree centigrade because of this chelation with this magnesium right so after that when you hydrolyze you will get uh, this aldehyde this aldehyde you will get right so this is again a very important question and that's all so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want more videos like that you have to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching